What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Expediting America. We're going to pick up where we left off, dropping off here in Memphis, Tennessee. But on this episode, I'm going to recap one whole week, Sunday to Sunday. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Get one last uh, run in at the dog park before we head in for the night because it's going to get pretty cold tonight. There's huge snowstorms coming into Memphis. Last night, temperatures got down to 8 degrees and Memphis really doesn't have the infrastructure for snow like this, so everything was shut down. To me, my best bet was camping outside of a hotel so I had access to a bathroom and all that stuff if I needed it. It's Monday, Martin Luther King Day, 16 degrees, 15 degrees, it just dropped one. <laughs> it's real out here, man. Push broom status. Yo, that's your broom? Bro, you ain't got you ain't got it. oh man. As far as I was gonna come over here anyway. You the man, bro. I'm from Florida, bro. I ain't used to this. <laughs> I already know. Now, we, we really don't get that much snow. Like, this, like, maybe one week out the year type shit. You know, how long are you going to be in Memphis? Hopefully not much longer. I'm looking for work right now, so. What kind of work you do? I haul freight cross country. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We might have a load for you. Maybe. Hey, man. Thank yeah, you, brother. No problem. Happy New Year. Uh, you too. You Stay too. blessed. I'm back here Hello. at the dog park trying to kill some time. Uh, the gym's not open. Walmart's not even open. Only thing open is Waffle House right now. While we were out here, we did get a text from dispatch about a load for tomorrow morning. So we're going to go ahead and take that. She sent me the RC. Baba, come up. There's not really much work out there. Most of the warehouses around here are closed. And uh, we're just going to roll with the punches, see what happens tomorrow. Bubba loves the snow. He loved playing with everybody. He even ran out on the lake. It was all icy, so he was slipping around. I didn't get that footage, but he enjoyed it. He had a good time. Hi, all right, so this is uh, Tuesday morning. We're here in Memphis, Tennessee. Found a parking spot outside this Planet Fitness. I thought it was going to be open today, but it's not open. Be free, Bubba. Go. As you can see, that's where we parked. You can hear my diesel heater. That's my diesel heater going off. Beautiful day. At least the sun's out. It's been pretty gloomy the past two days. Let's ride. For all you expediters, truck drivers get kicked out of Walmart parking lots by these security guards. Here's our redemption right here. With the day coming to a close, I thought we were gonna get another goose egg today, but dispatch hit me up and we have another load, so I'm heading to the pickup. Yeah, 500 pounds, 48, 48, 48. Yeah. Who going air? Is it the same load or different loads? That's you in the, you got a Ford out there? Yeah, transit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this never happened. You to work me. for a company? You work with a carrier? Yeah. Yeah. This happened to you before, never? Oh, no, no. Now we're picking up the same order. You sound familiar. Uh, you on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> you the guy with the dog, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you doing, man? <laughs> wow, bro. You're one of the first guys I ever watched on YouTube. I hope it's not. All right. Huh? They're saying me, but. Shit. Man, I don't want to be the dude from YouTube stealing your load, bro. Like, that's messed up. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Sorry, man. What's your name, bro? Oh, uh, hold on, man. Hold on? Yeah. How long you you an owner operator or you yeah, yeah. Operator. 
talk about an awkward situation. You know, you meet somebody off YouTube and they're happy to meet you, but then you go ahead and you take the load that they were booked for at the same time. So we're going to get loaded up here. I got to go back to the office to pick up the paperwork. Hopefully everything's all good. Yeah, bro, that's good. Thank you. So what happened with your statement? I'm still waiting. Still waiting? Yeah. Who wants you to sign? You're going to print your name. Okay. The company you drive for. Okay. And date. Okay. On the three pages. Thank you, dude. Hey, it look like you lost weight, brother. Me? Yeah. Maybe it's just the camera. The camera <laughs> adds 10 pounds, they say. You throw these in the car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you, bro, man. You were one of the first dudes I was. That's crazy, dude. I've been following you for a while. Bro. What was your name again? Juan. Juan, Juan. That's my grandfather's name, so that's... Yeah. It should be easy to remember. Where are you from? I'm from Florida. Florida. My grandfather's from Argentina. Argentina, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why, that's why, that's why I gave you a call. You get kind of confused right now. I hope they got another one for you. Dude. I hope it's like two of those. You know what I mean? Yeah, y'all, y'all give me one minute because I'm, I'm on the phone with the comments, man, because it's kind of confusing like you were supposed to be in the first carriage pickup and now they sent the email saying he's supposed to pick up so okay <laughs> they're gonna have us fight him <laughs> yes yes sir. oh yeah we should do like a we should do a race a run outside a leg race <laughs> with, with the snow and the ice now nah, i don't want to be the dude that took the, the job back from the <laughs> 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 let me see they got you doing <laughs> Don't take my money away from me. Uh, <laughs> I'm just playing, man. You good. Yeah, 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 I'm tired. I just, you know. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Stop. Thanks, man. Well, we got to give it back. You with dogs? You want to meet them? Yeah. What's up, buddy? You're famous. <laughs> You're famous. Yeah. My brother got a golden retriever. Yeah, goldens are good dogs, man. I don't know where he is. I, I'm trying to get the DNA test. Yeah. So I'm actually talking to the company, trying to get them to sponsor the channel. Because people always ask what he is, you oh, know what I mean? Sure, yeah, you can make that happen. Bubba, back up. Back. Go back up front. In three years of expediting, I have never had this happen to me where a load got double booked like this. It was hard to watch them take it away like this, especially since I've been waiting for a couple days to get out of here. But it is what it is. All right, well, we'll drive safe, bro. All right, brother. I'm for a good episode. <laughs> That's fine. All right, brother. Be easy, man. Yes, sir. It has been a really slow week so far. One canceled load, one tow new. Hopefully we can make something shake today. I gotta go get an oil change and we'll see what happens. You ready to go for a walk? Start our day? Oh yeah, let's do it. Hey man, just trying to get an oil change. All right, free bottle of water as well. Oh, cool. All right, do they need anything? Nah, nah, he's got plenty of water. He just drank a whole bunch. Oh, uh, okay. If I'm running good and I'm staying busy, I'm doing an oil change every other week or so. I actually got the oil in the filter already. Okay. Oh, it's going to be on the side door here. Yeah, yeah. About one hour after the oil change, I got a text from dispatch saying we finally got a load. We have to deadhead 50 miles to Holly Springs, Mississippi to pick up and then we're going up to Wisconsin. You want to know what Bubba's looking for? He's looking for some likes. Make sure you smash that like button. Also, I just found out that over 64% of you all watching are not subscribed to the channel. So for the latest news and updates on Expediting America, hit that subscribe button.
Honestly, it doesn't even look like anyone's here right now. How you doing? Well, believe it or not, there's people in there and uh, looks like everything uh, checks out. We just got to go around to the other side of the building because uh, all they got is dock doors over here. Dock height doors. That's ice. Woo. So easy to slip and fall out here. Looks like that's the door I'll be pulling up to right there. Looks like we're hauling one pallet of automotive parts. It's a direct deliver, so we got to be there by 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Went ahead and got strapped in, two straps. All right, so we arrived at the receiver about 4.03 a.m. Nobody got here until 5 a.m. at the receiving office, so I just took a nap for an hour. Uh, but I got somebody now, they're gonna come to this door over here, this roll-up door, get me unloaded. Uh, right now it is 5.11, so hopefully we get unloaded pretty quick because we have to be about an hour away by 6.30 a.m. to pick up the next load heading to North Carolina. So. Uh, not much rest, but after I pick up, I will rest another like hour or two, maybe three, and then head down to North Carolina. Um, we got to be there by 7.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. After waiting patiently for three days, we finally put one on the board. That's $800 gross. Let's go ahead and break it down for you. We did 770 total miles with Deadhead. The job paid 800 bucks 320 went to the van owner that's their 40 percent they pay for the van insurance all that good stuff maintenance 105 and gas left me with 375 total let's keep it moving see how we can finish off the week hopefully we can do it strong we got to the shipper at 634 it is uh 642 right now and we're about to go to the uh loading dock and get loaded up so everything's moving pretty smooth looks like we're hauling one pallet once again 300 pounds this time some plastic caps for industrial use it's currently 7 a.m on thursday we gotta drop off at 7 a.m friday morning so we have 24 hours to drive 13 hours it's light work for Expediting America. Let's go ahead and do this. Right now it's 10 degrees outside. Uh, I got like three layers on now. I got three layers of sweatpants and then a uh, sweatshirt, a uh, hoodie, and then this ja jacket. <laughs> Right after picking up in Wisconsin, I took about a two hour nap, got up around nine and kept it pushing. We hit Indiana around noon and the weather got really nice, but then the weather deteriorated and I checked the radar to see what was up ahead and it looks like we have more snow on the way. It's gonna get pretty nasty tonight. So let's see what happens. You know, in conditions like these, slow and steady wins the race, guys. It's no competition. It's better to be there late than not be there at all. All right, let's go ahead and put 990 on the board. We arrived at 6.49 a.m. We did 831 total miles with Deadhead. The job paid 990. 396 for the van owner, 138 in gas. Left me with 456. Let's keep it moving. This week started off pretty slow and shaky, I won't lie, but it's turned out to be pretty decent. Let's see what's in store next for us. Slept from like 9 a.m. to I think it was like 1 p.m. Got some good sleep. Woke up. Got a little over here to pick up. Pickups for three, but it's two o'clock. I'm gonna try to see if it's ready. If not, we'll just wait. Doing the pickup? Yeah. Pick it up and go to the Nacross, yeah. Georgia. Yeah. 
That's good. Looks like we're hauling three pallets. It's kind of deceiving because it's not very heavy. But we're going to go ahead and get strapped in here. If you guys like this episode or any of the other episodes, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps out tremendously. I appreciate it and Bubba Joe appreciates it. The time is 10.50 and we have made it. Well, that was the wrong door. You need a copy? Yeah, I'll take one. There you go. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Believe it or not, it is still Friday. It's 11.50 p.m. and we just got a text from dispatch. We're going to go recover a load about 20 miles away and head to Louisiana. Another day, another door. Looks like we're looking at one box, 120 pounds, some turbine parts for a Sikorsky S-76 helicopter. We've got about a seven hour drive ahead of us. Don't have to be there till noon, so I'm gonna get some rest. I'll talk to y'all soon. That's straight, it's not too heavy. Let's go ahead and put 550 on the board for this load. It's 470 miles, plus I did 20 miles of deadhead, so not a bad rate. Let's head to Louisiana. Sundays are pretty slow, but you never know what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm about to find out. Are you a good road I'm doing dog? the DNA Embark DNA testing. Okay. We, have, we have a YouTube channel, so people always ask, and I, I think he's a Border Collie Pit Akita mix. I was about I to think. say he looks some kind of collie. That's what I think. He's super smart. Bubba, <laughs> back up. Towers, go up. Go. Back, back. Go. <laughs> Get, getting all the smells. Tall. It's too tall. And the door is not that long. What's a 76? Like a helicopter? It's a bigger helicopter. That's that's a 76. So that won't go in that big ass helicopter? No. Oh really? Uh, like in a cargo way. area? No. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the doors are not but probably about this wide. Right. And they're about this tall. Have a shape to it yeah. What do y'all use your helicopters for? Are you guys like a... We fly offshore. Uh, parts, people, everything. Oh, uh, yeah? Just to like all the rigs and stuff mm -hmm. out there? Oh, that's cool. Sometimes they send um, really big cases. Like, they'll be this tall. And you open it up and it's a part probably <laughs> tiny, this size. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah, yeah. Yep. After getting off to such a slow start, I didn't think this week was going to pan out at all, but it turned out to be a pretty average week. I do about 3,000 miles a week on average, and this was 2,455 miles. After the van owner took their 40% and I paid my gas, I ended up with 13.19 for the week. What's going on, everybody? If you enjoy this content, please like, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps greatly. I appreciate y'all so much. See y'all in the next episode. Peace.